Hey, it's Burgess Taylor, or Journey with Burgess, and um, we're going to be talking about my favorite and most used art and journal supplies, and I'm really excited. I wanted to do this a little bit differently, so I drew and watercolored my favorite supplies, the ones I use the most. Now, you're not going to see every single one of them, but I will do another video. Um, where I talk about individual like separate videos like where I talk about my favorite pens where I talk about my favorite extra supplies and um, how I use and what I use for everyday ephemera and how I actually document my day my, what would be my essentials the things I use all the time sometimes I aren't the same thing I have some favorites that I haven't used in quite a while because I've been trying other things or trying some of my same things but in different ways so we're going to get started and um, I have drawn it in pencil now I'm going to draw it in pen and we're going to watercolor and I'm going to talk about what my favorites are so one of my very favorites as far as fine liners go drawing pens is Faber Castell's line there are uni pens, which I like. The Tombow Mono fine liners, I like. Quite a few others. Statler, Copic. And I did not draw these true to size. Some are, some aren't. <laughs> I just had fun drawing. I wanted it to be fun when I did this. This is a Rotaring Tiki ballpoint pen, and I have the Rotaring Tiki .5 mechanical pencil. I also have the Pilot um, Color Eno pencils. I really like these. I have the set of them, but I chose to just have a few out. It's October, and I've been using a lot of purples and oranges as far as pencils go. And I also really love the Prismacolor pencils. And a lot of times I'll use just a uh, regular number two pencil. Next on the list would have to be fountain pens. My favorite fountain pen of all time for writing would be the Twisby 580AL, I think is the one. It's um, got a medium nib and I love the way that that writes for handwriting. For drawing, it would be the Platinum Carbon Desk Pen. For uh, other, like, note-taking, not handwriting, handwriting, but just regular notes. Or A lot of times I'll use the Pilot, I think it's it's the Decimo or the Vanishing Point. Or, I also really love the Twisby Eco. I have several different Twisbys. I have the Twisby Clasp classic which I absolutely love I like a smooth writing pen I don't like a scratchy writing pen I like the Twisbees because they're really smooth the pilots are really smooth I have uh, two pilot Pereiras and a fine and a medium and then the pilot vanishing point and I, every now and again sometimes the pens don't want to work right <laughs> if you've got an ink that has sort of a sediment like the sketch ink or the platinum carbon ink but that just requires you to clean the nibs much more often and to clean inside the pen much more often so next on my list uh, would be probably markers and I'd have to say the Crayola super tips and the Tombos but I love my Crayola super tips I have the whole the whole caboodle <laughs> So next would be washi tape and then everyday ephemera. I like things that are part of everyday life, like a ticket stub that you get from somewhere or a brochure that you get from somewhere you went or the uh, menu from the Chinese food restaurant we ate at or uh, the coloring paper that they gave us when we went to a restaurant with Victor. Um, I like pictures. I like packaging that I cut that comes in the mail um, when I get happy mail or you know I like envelopes uh, all kinds of things that are part of like regular everyday life I do on occasion order some things um, but mostly I use everyday ephemera I do like some stickers though I just can't afford them <laughs> the way that I would like 
Scissors, my very favorite scissors would probably be the Fiskars. They're the orange ones that I have. Uh, next on the list of favorite things would be my watercolors. I have several different watercolors. I like Schmincke the best. It's smooth and buttery. Uh, Daniel Smith would be next. I like the way that Daniel Smith granulates. So it depends on what I'm watercoloring, what I'm doing, as to um, which one I'd rather. I, I tend to sometimes alternate because I end up using a combination of the two of them sometimes. Like I, ha I have a the box that I drew, my little black Schmincke one. It's, well I guess I should say it's the medium one. Medium one. Um, I have a combination of handmade watercolors and Daniel Smith and Schmincke in there. Um, my dust catch, my mono dust catch eraser. It's one of my favorites. And then uh, the kneadable eraser. I have one by Faber Castell and it is awesome. I have a mister that came from Dollar Tree and I love that thing. It, um, for a long time I didn't really use it with watercolors and then I realized what a big difference it made. And now I use it quite a bit. Um, I really like the sketch ink it's such a pretty charcoal gray kind of color but it like I said it does get a little sticky in a fountain pen I guess well not sticky but it for whatever reason um, not all fountain pens like that ink and so they don't really want to work so you have to kind of clean the nib I dip the nib in a little bit of water and wipe it off and then it'll work fine <laughs> but, but I guess they clog up the nib that certain kinds of ink sometimes I like my um, water brushes, the actual watercolor brushes, those are probably the silver black velvet would be my favorites along with the Escoda. I have a couple of different, I have two Escoda Perla regular um, watercolor brushes and then I have the travel watercolor brushes which are several different kinds. The Pearl, I have um, Wine Reserva and some others. Um, I'm trying to think of what that's called. Ultimo. <laughs> I have three or four different ones, like depending on the size. I also have to say that my very favorite brush lately has been the Rosemary and Co. brush. It has a sort of angled tip and it works really well for detail and it's a really pretty brush, travel brush. Um, Uhu glue stick would be my favorite glue stick. I also like Elmer's with the triangular shaped top. It makes it gluing corners really easy. As well as I, the Neo Color 2's. I really like those. Um, I've been trying to use a variety of different things. I got a little a small set of the Neo Color 2's and I've been trying to play around with them for certain background kind of things or larger items. Um, I think the next video I do with some watercolor and stuff like that I think I'm gonna show those because I'm still kind of learning how to use those so it's good to practice with them I really like the rotary and tiki graphic fine liner pigment liners the pens are drawing pens they're really it took me a little tiny bit to get used to them they're really wet in the beginning they work great I think Sometimes the things that we love, like for the longest time, Derwent Ink Tense Pencils were my very favorite thing. Now don't get me wrong, I still like them. Especially when I'm doing certain things and I need like a really vibrant, bold look to certain things. It works, they work fa fabulous. But I don't use them the way that I did in the very beginning. And I just talked about this recently in the live chat that I did you know I'm I actually back in the day I you know a lot of people were saying if you're gonna get it you need to go ahead and get the 72 count well to be honest I'm glad I didn't get the 72 count because I have 24 of them and I don't use them enough to warrant having spent the kind of money on the 72 count until later when I know one I could afford getting the 72 count and two uh, then I'm gonna use them like at least once a week or so and for a long time I was using them like almost every day I have gotten more into watercolor the actual watercolor and less into the watercolor markers or watercolor pencils 
but I do like to practice with them some and I've noticed that since I got the Derwent watercolor pencils and I also have Prismacolor watercolor pencils that uh, I use them sometimes to highlight things or to kind of finish what like the details of things and the Prismacolor pencils work as well for that but the only time I really do that I really do that much in my journal I do it sometimes in my sketchbook or I'll do it like with doodles if some if it's something I'm gonna scan if it's something that I'm gonna make for somebody else okay next on the list would be the dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white uh, I like that for white and I like gouache okay but I found that dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white works much better for me I do use the white gouache a little bit but next on my list would be sketchbooks and I have to say that Stillman and Burns any one of theirs really as well as the field artist brand of sketchbooks and the handbook globe by global art materials I also have a, a moleskin and a few other different kinds of watercolor sketchbooks and I, I, I don't if I had to I mean definitely Stillman and Burns would be my favorite out of all of the sketchbooks that I've owned so far I haven't tried like arches or anything I do like the big Canson and the uh, there's another brand Strathmore those are the two that I use for the bigger I have bigger the, those are spiral bound most of them some of them are made like a tablet um, not like a, a digital tablet but like a old regular tablet like a where you flip the page up um, and you can tear them out they're perforated um, I do like those a lot and I use those for the bigger pieces that I'm going that I do so next on the list would be I don't use a whole lot of stencils I do have some that are have circles and I do have some that have like the that are bullet journal stencils and I, I'll use those sometimes I have stamps but the, I can't remember the last stamp I used other than my date stamp I do like the little alphabet stamps and I probably need to get those out and enjoy using those I do enjoy using those and use them some more my Prismacolor black pencil sharpener would be my favorite pencil sharpener the, out of the other pens the uniball eye man I love that pen I forgot about that pen I also like the uniball signo point 38 and I've just re le recently started using the Muji pens and they work pretty well for just writing but I haven't found them to be all that waterproof it's like they're a little bit water resistant but they're not actually waterproof at least the ones I have aren't I still on occasion use my Jane Davenport watercolors I have the bright and the neutrals and I really love them they're so colorful and so vibrant I need to actually start using them a little bit more I have the Karen Diash gouache in the pan they I like them but um, I haven't used them very often and I probably ought to use them more often too so some of those are some of the favorites but they're not like I said necessarily the ones that I use the most I used to use the Sharpie fine liner pen all the time and then I found out that they're maybe not so uh, archival you know and acid free and all that important stuff like the microns and the Faber Castells and the Stettler the Copics and you know I, I don't know sometimes a fine liner is a fine liner and I have a tendency to write pretty hard so sometimes I mess up the tips and I found that the microns and the Faber Castells they work great except for that like 0.01 I, I can seriously mess up a 0.01 and I have yet to find one that doesn't get messed up really I have one of those food and escape pins like for lettering but I don't right now I know it's in my pencil case the big the real big one but I haven't really gotten it out in a while and used it um, I love my jelly rolls and I love my mild liners I I use though I use the mild liners pretty much every single day I use my watercolors every single day I use at least a few fountain pens and uh, some kind of pen like the uniball I micro or the uniball signo point 38 I sometimes I use big ball points or I use the uh, ballpoint pens that I got with the Hobonichi's 
Um, those are the ones that have the black, the red, and the blue. Um, I like to draw and doodle with a ballpoint pen, but I don't really care much to write with a ballpoint pen. I'm a fountain pen and then a gel, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of pen it is that uniballs are. I, I don't know exactly, but I love them. I like a felt tip okay. Oh, Tombow Correction Tape has become my new best friend, and I really like the Tombow Adhesive, and my Polaroid Zip has become like such a wonderful thing. Um, it works really well with my phone and I don't have any issues with it. I've realized that I'm going to have to get some more paper pretty soon. Because, <laughs> and I've been thinking about doing a photo a day for next year. Um, a photo a day, a drawing a day, um, 365. If, if I can, I'm not going to beat myself up if there's a day where I don't have a picture or a day where I don't have a drawing, but I really would love to and I'm debating on whether I want to make it a goal or, you know, I mean, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to take a picture every day. It's the drawing every day. I'm not quite so sure about, but I think I ought to be able to, you know, even if it's just a little doodle. I had spread out some of the tools, some of these, these supplies, um, when I started this video and that's because I wanted to show them and they're going to be in the YouTube preview video. And I'm hoping that video turns out okay, but I wanted y'all to see this. And I started it out with introducing myself like I would for a YouTube video, but I realized I really didn't want to show the watercolor um, so much unless I super time lapse this. And I may do that and change the chat. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope that you enjoy this. I'm going to go. I'm going to speed this up a little bit and let y'all in with some music in case you want to kind of journal yourself. And I'll see y'all again soon. Thanks, y'all. Bye.